Okay, so here I have in PHP Storm opened uh, numbers PHP, and we need to do the same thing in browser. Let's go and open numbers PHP, and we see obviously empty output. So this is the plan which we're going to do in this numbers section. Okay, let's declare several numbers like A equals to 5, uh, B equals to 4, and let's declare C equals to 1.2. Okay, so we have declared three different numbers, and I'm going to do some arithmetic operations on these numbers. For example, I'm going to write A plus B, and let's have a look in the browser. So that's obviously uh, 9. So let's... Uh, tr try to print a minus b and that prints one and let's use that uh, br to show them on a on a separate lines okay cool so here we have nine here we have one obviously we can like chain several math operations like a minus b that multiplied on 10 and that's like a divided by by c for example okay that will give us some number and th th that's it Okay, so uh, if we if we put this a minus b uh, in the parentheses, we know that first a minus b will be evaluated, and that then will be multiplied on ten and divided by c. Okay, and that will give us different result. And here it is. Okay, so um, to like uh, to show you all arithmetic operations, we have um, multiplication, we have division, and we have a modulus operator. Okay, these are the arithmetic operators we have in PHP. And this is addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, division, and that is modulus operator, which means the remainder when A is uh, divided by B. And that should give us right now 1. Okay, so... Uh, okay, let's talk about assignment with math operators, which basically... Uh, so let me, let me copy this. I think it will be easier. So I'm going to copy and show this to you immediately. Okay, let's comment these arithmetic operators. So I have two statements on a single line. The first one uh, is uh, like it, it's explained in the following way. Take the B's value, add it to the A, and save the result back inside A. And that changes the value of the a and a we was like a five initially then we are adding b inside the a and finally a should be nine and if we comment the other code we see that a is nine the a's value was actually changed and we're printing a right here the other operators work in the same same way so this will uh like on a b will be subtracted on a and the result will be saved back inside the a so if you are familiar with other programming languages that assignment with math operators i think this is really familiar for you if not just observe this so this one is explained like a b is multiplied on a and the result is saved back inside the a so if we comment other codes and just leave the multiplication that will change the a into 20 okay and that's it Okay, so let's uh, let's comment all this code, by the way, and talk about increment operator. So a plus plus that will simply increase the value of the a, and the a now will become a will become six. Okay, uh, we have another increment operator, and it's, it's called plus plus a. The difference between those operators is that first this operator first uses the value of the a and that will be explained really well if we put this in the echo okay so we're printing a and then the value of the a is increased okay let's come at this and have a look so first it prints five but the value of the a is increased so if we print a right here i see that it prints five first then the value was increased and it prints six Okay, if I use plus plus a, this first increases the value of the a, and then it is used. Okay, and that should print, can you guess what will be the output? Right, it will be 7, because this one increased into 6, and then this one increased the 6 into 7, and then printed it. Okay, in the same way, we can use a decrement operator, okay, like a echo a minus minus and echo minus minus a they work in the same way okay 
uh, it will print seven in the file in the, in the vice versa actually so let's have a look at the number checking functions okay so we have the following functions to check numbers is float uh, we have is integer and is numeric which is the most interesting thing for me so is float accepts uh, basically all of them accept some value and returns true or false whether the particular value satisfies the requirement of the function let's call it like this so if I give right here four so this returns let's put this in the for dump okay so for dump okay and this returns into false I, I need to comment these following ones okay because 4 is not actually float it is integer okay so if I put the here I like go 4.1 then this will be evaluated into true so is integer and uh, is integer works in the same way so if I use right here is uh, integer this will return false if I pass here 4 this will return true the is numeric is the most interesting for me okay if I use like is numeric this that basically works in the like a like it's a generic version of the is float and is integer so this will return uh, true uh, four points like three will return true but if we give here like string like a 5.6 for example this will unwrap the string and check if it's a numeric value inside the string and that will also return true however if we add some other value like a g for example right here this will return false okay i hope that makes sense okay let's comment and talk about conversions so i'm going to show you uh i'm going to copy some code okay just found variable and here uh I'm gonna show you how we can convert that variable into float okay like float variable or let's call it like number okay so I'm gonna use parentheses and inside the parentheses I write the val the ver the type of the mm, the type excuse me the type I want to convert my uh, str number into okay str number and that uh, we can print this using for dump number okay so this str number will be converted into float and printed and let's have a look it's float it's 12.34 if we convert this into integer that will uh, just trip this uh, 30 uh, 34 and it will be integer 12 okay so we can uh, like convert this into boolean that's called also type casting so that's type casting and we're converting this into boolean and that is evaluated into into true so if we however have here like empty string when empty string is converted into boolean that will be evaluated into false the null will also be evaluated into false okay so this is the one way to convert variable into uh, into another type we have also um, float val which is a function and accepts this number and returns float just like this we have also int val we have like bool val and the same same basically functions as we can use inside type casting so previously only functions existed about uh, like converting from one type into another but now we have a type casting which i think is more like a convenient way okay and th that works fine okay so let's talk about number functions so i'm going to quickly copy code and just follow that code and explain what i'm doing right here okay so uh here i'm printing just string the uh function name in the parenthesis that's, that's just string and i'm concatenating it with the uh, function result and finally i'm concatenating it with uh with line break okay so i'm using several number functions and let's have a look in the browser let's comment this code okay so that basically takes the absolute value of the given number it's if it's minus 15 that returns 15. that function po function will take two in power three and that will evaluate into uh, into eight this sqrt function will just simply take the square root 
max function accepts several as many as many numbers as you want actually like uh, we can pass five and six and so on and it will simply take the maximum maximum number uh, of given numbers okay this one will take the minimum number of given ones we have a round which simply rounds this in a normal math way and that's uh that round returns like two this round returns however three because that's 2.6 uh, floor function will always round down no matter what is the value of the given one um, I, I mean if we give even here like a 2.99 this will still be uh, like a rounded into two okay uh, it, it's rounded down to the closest integer number uh, however the sale works oppositely so it will round this number to the uh, like a smallest integer number which is greater than this value okay and the smallest integer number which is greatest the greater than this value is is obviously three okay so let's talk about how we can format numbers okay so i have uh, i'm going to copy this code also okay so here i have a pretty like large number and this is my number and i'm using number format function okay so uh, just a, just a side note so if you're using php storm along with me if you're using vs code just that that's not for you if you're using php storm php storm by default suggests you the uh hints of the arguments okay so when we are using function like number format for example so this suggests uh let me show you what i mean so if we go to the hints and Here it is php argument hints show parameter hints right here okay so this will show you that like gray text decimals test points here also number base x park so that's just the names of the arguments the function called when the function was written okay that's that's makes that tries at least to make things easier for you uh, to like not get confused with what parameter is what for example for this poll so the the first argument is the base and the second arg argument is the exponential value not vice versa for example and that's uh, in real project that's like really big advantage uh, just I disabled that for like for sake of simplicity and I'm going to disable it right now but the initial installation comes with that hints so don't get confused if like you don't find the same hints on my screen okay so and what does this number format does so it's, it accepts the number and several more arguments the two basically means that uh, I want to have two uh, digits after the decimal point after formatting it that dot means that I want to have dot as a decimal separator and that comma means that I want to have comma as a thousand separator okay so if I refresh in the browser I see the thousand separator is comma decimal separator is dot and we see only two digits after the uh, decimal separator I can change this for example I can change the comma uh, do the dot into comma I can change comma into space and I can also change this two into three and here is the result okay that's uh, just really cool function for formatting uh, numbers okay and I'm going to show you the link where you can find all functions working with numbers so we can't obviously explain um, everything in this crash course even though if if it won't be crash course explaining all the things is not necessary uh, is not like good thing you need to check out things on your own I will put the link in the video description where you can find all the functions uh, working with numbers like the abs value which I have explained arc cosine arc sine and some of the cool stuffs also which I haven't explained in this in this uh, function list okay and definitely check out the functions link will be in the, in the video description and you will find a lot of useful functions and again don't try to remember them just have a look at what it exists uh, and uh, when you need it you will remember or you will just easily find because you know that it exists okay so that's about functions let's move on and talk about strings